What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about some more info that we have. Um, we got some new characters dropping. Now, in my other video about this, I um, we already talked about some of these characters dropping, so it's not a surprise to us that they actually are. Um, I know I didn't upload yesterday, but my birthday was yesterday, so um, I was out doing stuff, so sorry for that. But anyways, uh, new hero, SSR Guardian Elaine. We're going to go ahead and look at her ultimate or whatever. It's about to be loud. I know it was about to be loud. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it's, the sa her, it's her same ultimate. Wow. It's her same ultimate. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> moving on to her, like, abilities and stuff. Um, sharp Wind. Five, deal 500% damage to a single enemy. Uh, increase old gauge by two. Oh, wow. So, she's going to increase her old gauge. Okay. And then um, her second one, Root Shackles, decrease defense-related stats by 40% for three turns. And these are all level three. These are all three-star cards. Um, so on her first card, she probably will like increase ult gauge by none, then by one, then by two, depending on how many stars you have. I'm assuming, or it'd be one, one, three, or one, one, two. Excuse me. Her second card will probably be for one turn, two turn, three turn, or the percentage will just go up per turn. Or per uh, star as well. Uh, obviously, she has the same ultimate. Removes buffs from a single target. 490% damage. Apply stun for one turn. Already. Her passive. In boss raids. <clears throat> in boss raids, all buffs on allies are further increased by half. Snatch is an exception. So, basically, she's made for boss raids. Right? Now, that makes her... I mean... She's not even that good, right? So not only is she not that good, right? Not only is she not that good, um, she's also very limited to what she is good for. Um, this would be a hard skip. Like, this is a hard skip for sure. We're definitely, you. well, you should definitely not be going for Elaine because this Elaine is poo cheese. Uh, new hero suite, Seduction, Druid, Jenna. Um... Here we can go ahead and look at her ultimate. Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, I guess nothing crazy. Anyways, uh, here is her abilities. Deal 250% damage to all enemies and applies infect. Infect prevents healing, regeneration, recovery on the target. Okay. Um. And then, Bright Shot is her second one. The first one was Flash. Deals 500% damage to a single target enemy and removes enemy stance. Okay. And then, her ultimate outset light deals 560% damage to a single target enemy. Applies Collapse. Collapse deals double damage to enemies in stance mode. And then, her passive. This hero will only receive one debuff effect. <clears throat> and as long as the effect is in place, her attack will increase by 20%. Uh, not sure why it's called Cell, but anyways, eh, I mean, she's very mediocre as well. Uh, this banner is looking like a complete skip. Like, I, I, I'm seeing both of these units so far, and they just don't look good at all, right? So, unless Zaneri is, like, super OP broken, this is a hard skip. And last new hero, Sweet se uh, Seduction, Seduction? Uh, Druid Zaneri. So, here's her ultimate. Which I've always liked her more than um, Jenna, anyways. Jenna, a uh, hoe. Okay. She just builds a tree. So I'm guessing she does. She is she a healer? Um, her ultimate skill doesn't have 350% shield based on how many turns. Be like stats, but it's not sure. Okay. Anyways. Uh, deals 450% damage to a single target enemy and prevents the enemy from increasing the ultimate gauge for two turns. Nimbus. Okay. Point light. Yeah, okay, so she is a healer. I thought she was, right? Like, she's growing a tree. Heal 50% of all allies' maximum HP and removes all debuff effects. Okay, nice. And then her ultimate creates a 350% shield to all allies and increase HP-related stats by 25%. Her passive is also praying person, which, um... If the hero removes a debuff from an ally, increase ult gauge. What? If the hero 
removes a debuff from an ally, increase ultimate gauge. But oh, okay, so that's with her healing. So if she heals and she removes the debuff, she gets a, a ultimate gauge per debuff removed. I guess her ultimate skill doesn't have what the 350% shield is based on. Oh, okay. Uh, how many turns? Yeah. So like we have, we're missing some information on that, but that's fine. But yeah, so we're getting three new characters coming to the game. Uh, Zaniri, Jenna, and, uh, well, Elaine, which has been in the game. But, um, this banner is a hard skip, guys. It, it is a hard skip, trust me when I tell you. Um, it's just not that good, like, at all. Like, not at all. So, uh, yeah, just new info. Um, so that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me if you guys need to comment section below. That being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.